Imagine if you only got one chunk per day in your Minecraft world. Would you survive? Let's find out. Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode two of my one chunk survival. I know it's one chunk, but now we have three chunks because three days have passed in total so far. And we're about to get ourselves the fourth chunk of the world. So we do have a good source of food, AKA fishing. And it works quite well. I've actually been very happy with it. And uh, yeah, basically we're gonna go caving today and hopefully we don't die and hopefully we come out with some diamonds. That would be the ideal situation. Hey, have you guys ever seen someone fish and simultaneously chop wood? Look at all these fish, man. We have so much food now. Okay, well here's that big beautiful sun we've all been waiting for. What will the fourth chunk entail? Now keep in mind it can generate completely randomly. Okay. Uh, I don't know where it is, but there's a good, oh, oh, it's right there. Nice. More into the plains biome, which I'm not upset about, but I really hope because there is, you can see the grass a little bit greener over there. There's a sparse jungle in that direction, and that could lead to some really good stuff. And I do see lava falling, which isn't the greatest sign. Um, oh, there's a bunch of coal there. Oh, more mine shaft down there. Okay, so we probably want to go down in that direction. Now, it's always going to be a priority for me that I get all these trees. Although I have been lighting up the chunks as they generate, I still want to like, you know, kind of mark off my home chunks. Oh, I thought, dude, I thought for just a second that that was a pillager raid and I was like, what? Okay, so we have one of each which is great. Probably not a very good chance that they end up dead unless we don't block this off. And yeah, that leaves their only chance of dying is they just fall off the edge. Let's go mining and see if we can't find ourselves some diamonds or at least something to propel us forward out of the Iron Age. Okay, well, I found something. I've just been kind of digging down. I don't necessarily know if it's... Well, it is a cave, but it's only half the story. Looks like the actual cave is a little bit further down. Hey, well, we found our first piece of lapis. Um, I also made myself a... Uh, probably need to make another iron pick real quick, but I made myself an iron sword because I was like, if I'm going to be fighting a bunch of mobs, I'd really prefer to not die. Dude, these trees are growing like weeds, man. I come back up here and we got all these trees, so that's what I'm going to be doing now. We almost have close to two stacks of wood now. Uh, which means we can hopefully build this fence and a house pretty soon. One thing I'm hoping for is another cow. Sheep is safe and secure over here. I have most of the trees gone. I've decided that this area is going to be where our house is going to go. So I'm just going to not plant any more saplings over here. Okay, so I've flattened out this area in preparation for the house. And I also see, I see some absolutely crazy stuff down there. So I definitely want to get down there, but I have to do it safely. I want this to be our nice, safe respectable house look at all this fanciness look how respectable of an area we have now from impoverished with no wood to an excess of wood to the point of indulgence look at that how beautiful oh we're coming up in the world man we're coming up in the world um i'm gonna start off with that much if we need more we'll make more Now look, we have what we said we'd get in the first episode done. Nice. And it uh, looks like a new chunk is right about to appear. So I'm excited for that. A new chunk has appeared. And where is it going to be this time? Is it off in this direction? No. Oh, it's in that direction with the sparse jungle. Nice. And hey, we just built this fence, which means we could probably build a fence gate or something. Um, but we don't need to go over there for now, except to maybe light it up. So let's go over here real quick. We'll just put a couple of torches down. That way we don't have to worry about anything spawning. And we should be good with like this many. Now, is there anything cool down there? There is water, which we could fall into. It's kind of risky, but we could do it. And then is there anything? Oh, there's a cave like right down here. I think we should just stick with our original plan and go back to that area we were in because we do have another pickaxe. Okay, guys. Well, if you remember... We had found a cave down here. I think they might be right above us. <gasps> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mobs will spawn like, like it's absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh. Maybe these skeletons can... 
Hey, well, we don't even need a mob farm, man. We'll just use this cave as one. Also, something I just noticed is my hardcore hearts are gone. I'm thinking the reason it messed up, like, the hardcore part is I think the plug-in is what messed up. I mean, you can explode, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Oh, there's still more creepers. How many more things are there gonna be? Well, this is kind of a nice cave. I am gonna light it up. That way, when we build a mob spawner, we're gonna get maximum spawns. Uh, oh, okay, we get a better look of what's over here. So there's that geode. Nice, 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 okay. There we go, okay. All I had to do is restart the server, and the hardcore is back. Okay, I'm gonna assume we're very near a cave, yes. The worst thing that can happen is I get shot off the edge. Oh yeah, this was the cave. Oh wow, we're back here, guys. Remember, this is where the mine shaft was. I don't remember on which side. There is no skeleton in here, so we can safely, somewhat safely, get down, which is nice. I'm hoping a creeper will explode, guys. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we have to worry about the baby zombie who has a sword. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, there we go. And now if we light this baby up, should not have to worry about mobs. Ooh, it's about to be dark. <laughs> well, it's fully dark now, which means one of two things. Oh, okay. Yeah, shoot, shoot your friends. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for helping me out, guys. I really appreciate it. And we don't need a string anymore. Man, this gives a whole new definition to a uh, caving. It's like, you're still caving, but it's like twice as risky. Dude, I almost lost the world from <laughs> a skeleton. I gotta watch my health a little bit more closely. I keep forgetting I'm on hardcore. I have a feeling they're gonna jump me when I get out. Okay. <laughs> as expected. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for shooting me. I really appreciate it. There can't be too many more. Oh, this is like a full-fledged cave. I do not like this. I mean, I'm happy. I'm paranoid. Very high chance that there's a bunch of stuff down here, so I'm going to try to be... That's not right. I'm going to try to be safe about it. Oh, and we're fine. Look, there's nothing even down here. Heck yeah. Ooh, that looks nice over there. Oh, that's a lot of iron. Okay, well, we got to make our way over there, of course. I see diamonds, and uh, I also see another mine shaft down there. Well, let me grab all this iron, and we should have a lot, like, close to a stack after this. Okay, I've gotten all the iron here, and we have close to a stack. And Oh, yeah, more diamonds down there and a mine shaft. I say we dig to those diamonds first, so they're, like, right below us. And there we go. Diamonds. Is it a lot? Uh, I don't know four so far, which is at least a sword. And uh, we have another set that we can go get. We're just gonna be very careful in what we do here and we're gonna inch over to where those diamonds are. Okay, well, I guess this is a sign that we make a diamond pickaxe. I would honestly rather have a diamond pickaxe than a diamond sword. And there we go, our second set of diamonds. This isn't just like one set, see? <gasps> Let's go, dude! How did I not see that? Now, I don't think anything's spawning in there because the light level's a little bit too high. Let's go ahead and let's just see what it is. Oh, the spawner. Oh, we don't have the spawner yet. Oh, okay. Oh, a golden apple. Okay, well, let's hope this chunk doesn't generate. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. Isn't that kind of funny? I think so. Might as well just go back up for now. And, uh, you know, this isn't too dangerous of a way to go back up. Okay, cool. Ha, ah, we're back up. And on the edge of the fence, not a very safe thing, but it worked. And now we actually have a bunch of, I was not expecting to live through this, but somehow, some way we did indeed live through it. I'm gonna mine all these trees. Oh, a new chunk. There we go. Oh, it's right there. This one. Nice. Cool. I do need to break it out a little bit. So there's a little bit of a border around the fence. Okay, well, that is all nice and patched up. I didn't mean for the sheep to get stuck there, but let's go find out. <gasps> we have chickens! Oh, this is a great discovery. Have you guys laid any eggs yet? No? Okay. I am going to get you guys into a hole. Hole of dreams. Come here, buddy. Yes. Come on. And there we go. We have a successful chicken farm. Ooh, it's gonna be a nice day today. I'm gonna make a diamond axe. I think that's a good use of our diamonds. Oh! Oh, that's right, we can't sleep, so we gotta deal with these guys. 
Oh, okay. 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 They kind of hit heavy. So I did a thing where I said I wasn't going to sleep. And I think I'm starting to pay the price for that. I do see cows over here. Oh, dude, we're good. We have enough cows to start breeding, which hopefully means we can enchant some. No, you don't need to come in there, which hopefully means we can enchant somewhat soon. So now all the trees are mined. I'm going to make sure and break these saplings. So let's go start ourselves a cow farm. Boom. Nice. So I hear an excess of mobs like right below us. So I'm going to go try to investigate real quick. Yeah, it's just like right in here. I don't even know. How did I even get hit? So I'm going to assume this is where all the mob noises are coming from, right? That's where you're coming from. Jeez, dude. Why is there so many of you in just like a little tiny area? Why don't you blow up, Mr. Creeper? Do the world a favor. Kill all these bad guys. Okay. Well, I got the Creeper to blow up all of his friends. And uh, I think we've solved the problem. Hey, a new chunk appeared. Hey, and it's a jungle. Ooh, okay. Maybe a little place for our farm. Nice. Well, if we get a jungle, that could be very interesting. Maybe a jungle temple. Well, not a bad chunk overall. And I'm happy that we're growing as a world. And, and you know, we're on the, only the second episode. We have a lot of stuff done. So I'm really happy. Okay, well, this area is nice and flat. It looks nice and terraformed now, which is exactly what I was going for. I'm probably going to convert this chunk to be a full, like, chunk farm. Okay, guys, well, I almost could fill up this whole thing. I used all the bone meal we had, and uh, we did indeed get close, but no cigar. Well, I am very happy with the progress that we made today. Now, we didn't build the house, which I said I was going to do this episode, but a lot of other stuff happened. We got attacked by phantoms. We now have a cow farm. We now have a nice wheat farm, and we did get a lot of stuff mining. So we did get a lot of progress done. Did we build a house? No. Will we build one next weekend? Yeah. So thank you guys for watching, first of all. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I hope that you're liking this series. And if you are and you want to see more, please leave a like on the video. And also let me know down in the comments below. And if you see anything you'd like me to fix or improve or anything like that, just let me know. I'm always open to suggestions and feedback. Um, my channel would be nothing without them. I'm just going to go underground and hide. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next weekend. The secret code for today's episode is going to be 2908. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of the video. Oh, again, video. I'm sorry. Again, 2908. Well, thank you guys for watching this episode, and I will see you in episode three. Bye!